talk about the projects for 121 here. Um, and the ones that I expected to be due this week, I'm going to put off by another week because I say I had trouble setting them up. So the first thing is F60, get a Windows machine running of some kind. And I see a lot of students have got that, either a local virtual machine or a cloud machine on Azure. Uh, you can't make it free on Google anymore, but you can still do it on Azure. And um, I just want to mention, I found um, if you want to make a local Windows machine, then you can do ED32 instead. I added this here and make a local virtual machine with VirtualBox or VMware. And if you're using M1 like I am, here's the best instructions for M1. And the M1, now, just about a week ago, VMware updated their product to VMware Fusion 13. And now I can make a Windows machine in VMware, which runs better than that goofy thing I was using before, UBS. So here is my glorious Windows 11 running on ARM. And as you can see, Autopsy runs in it. So um, the main, first project is just get a Windows machine working of any kind, then just install Autopsy. Installing Autopsy is pretty easy. So let me go here. This is uh, F200 is the one where first you have to install Autopsy, and you just go to the installation page, and um, you'll find a link to download Autopsy. You don't need to register. There's somebody, and then you can... Um, you can just download it and install it. There's also versions for Linux and OS X if you want to try that, although um, I haven't tried those. The only ones, but I think the only, the only ones I've, the only thing I've ever done is use it on Windows. That's what I highly recommend running it on Windows. And they say you should have 16 gigs of RAM, but you don't really need that because we're not going to do any really big projects in this class. By the way, uh, if you have an M1, there is a gotcha. Um, this already got a student when I did this on Saturday, a couple of days ago. If you if you install on the M1, you are going to download a VHDX file from Microsoft, which has Windows 11 already installed on it. Then you're going to convert that to an appropriate format for VMware and just connect to it with a virtual machine as a hard drive that's already to go. And it's only 64 gigs in size. And in my instructions, I recommended expanding it to 100. If you try to expand that drive, it will be destroyed and not boot because it's not apparently, the conversion process does not make it 100% reliable at VMware, which is pretty common. So I mentioned that. If you make an M1, you're going to have a 64 gigabyte virtual disk and don't attempt to change it. If you want more storage, I would add a second virtual drive to it, although I think for this class, 64 will be enough. I'm going to be doing my demos this way. We tried resizing it, and that destroyed it. Now you have to do it all over. Anyway, um, yes, so VMware Fusion 13 works. I'm using it, and it's nice. So then you install Autopsy, which is pretty normal, a normal installation. And then um, you have to do analysis of some data, which is very easy. Once you've got um, Autopsy installed, you just analyze this F200.eo1. And so let me demonstrate that. Once you've installed Autopsy, you'll have a shortcut on your desktop to launch Autopsy. This is the tool we're going to use for most of this class. Uh, it is the all-purpose forensic tool that will read images from almost any type and extract the data so you can just read through the data. So really, it's not even so much how to use this tool, you end up reading through data. And so, you make a new case, and uh, new case there, you have to give it a name, so this is gonna be um, F200A, because I already did F200, and then you have to give it a base directory. So I browsed and chose my documents before, you have to tell it where to put your stuff the first time, where it knows where to put your cases, and then next. Each, and then you give your case a number, I'm going to call it F200A, Doesn't, you don't really need to fill out the rest. And then um, it's going to create a database to keep track of all the evidence in that case, and it'll, you can have various cases available. I think they're all going in my documents folder, so uh, it takes a minute or so to create a case, which is just creating a sort of format, a template to store the data in. And uh, Yes. Okay. And now, by the way, there's some kind of error about one, one module not working correctly. I am running it on the M1, which is not a supported environment, so you expect a few little things to break. This technically is, is pretty unstable. I'm running, well, now it's an official version of VMware. Until yesterday, until last week, it was a beta, but it's definitely a beta version of Windows 11, not finished, the ARM version. And Autopsy is not supported on ARM at all, although it works. If you take the malware analysis class, we went through this in great detail. Windows software works by API calls, so it really should work. It really should not know what the processor is or care. And in practice, it doesn't seem to. 
So now um, you can select um, something about a host name. The default is fine. You click Next. Then you can have various kinds of data you can take. First thing we're going to have is a disk image or VM file. That's what we got here. But there's other things you can have. Copy to local disk, a logical file. So it's just copies of the files in a folder and various other kinds of things. We'll use various other types of images as we go ahead. But right now we have a disk image, which is the most common one. And so you have to browse to your disk image. And it's just a, this thing in the downloads folder, which I in their day call it f200.e01. E01 is the most common file type. That is the encase file format. Technically, the E is for expert witness, which is an old product no longer used, and encase adopted the format from the expert witness format. But anyway, it's a way to store a disk image, and it's compressed, so it's very handy. Which, which software you used to create that image? I used uh, FTK Imager, but all I did was I added a virtual hard drive that was small, so I could make an easy small image to work with. Because there's nothing much exciting in this image. It's just to show that you got autopsy working and you learned the very basic activities. So browse to that E01 file and open it. And next, here you get to choose what analysis to do on that file in autopsy. Autopsy can do all sorts of things, like remove pictures and detect encryption and all kinds of things. And we're going to try some of these fancy things later. But right now, just the default is fine. And then next. So it's going to run all those processes on this thing. And the main thing you do at that previous screen is sometimes you turn off a bunch of it to make it faster because it takes a long time to process a big image. But with this little image I made, it doesn't take too long. And when you finish, now you can see autopsy in all its glory. But this is what autopsy does. It gives you a tree structured directory on the left so you can examine the data. So here's files. You can look at the file types. You can look at them by extension or by something called MIME type. It puts documents here, and it puts executable files down here. And as you can see, there are very few files in here. There's a couple of images, and there is one plain text document. So there really isn't much to look through. So if you look at the plain text document, it's just hello.txt. And when you click it, the contents appears down here, hello world. So that's not very interesting, but you can just click through these to look at them, and you'll be able to see images too. And so, once you've got that working, you're practically done. This is F200. What you have to do, don't turn in this image. This image doesn't contain a flag. Look at them, and you'll find something that says, this is the flag, and then has a word. You've got to find that. And when you do, that's the image to turn in. So um, all you have to do is hunt through the available files, and this just proves that you've got Windows and Autopsy working, and you're able to import data. And then the rest of the class will be importing more, will be doing more exciting stuff with it. So that's it for F200. And after that, the next couple of weeks, what I recommend is just looking at the autopsy training videos. I have a bunch of autopsy training videos inside Canvas. And so there are little quizzes you take after watching the videos. So that's what it's due for the next couple of weeks. And there's a whole bunch of extra videos you can watch for extra credit if you want to and take quizzes. And then we'll move to F201 and F202 and just start analyzing more images. Um, and you can go ahead to them too. Rhino Hunt is where you're looking at some images of rhinos. And here's where you're looking at network data with Wireshark. And then we're going to do um, memory analysis of what I was just talking about in the lecture, a RAM image, which you then analyze with autopsy, which because autopsy has um, one of those other memory analysis programs built in, I think memorized, and then the registry and so on. And we're going to do some phones, an Android phone and an iPhone. So we'll be analyzing a lot of images from different things as we go on in the course. But uh, that's all you got to do for F60 and F200. So let me stop this recording. And I...